Alright, what's going on guys? Try back again. I'm here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing another versus video in my versus series of videos. People wanted to see some more of them, so I decided I would do a couple. Uh, and this one, I've been kind of on a Watchmen kick lately again. Every few years I, I watch the movie again and read the trade again sometimes. And um, in Watchmen, Dr. Manhattan, our favorite blue, uh, super, super man of Watchmen, I guess you could call him, the Superman, as they kind of point towards. Granted, he was based off Captain Adam, but still, of the Watchmen DC Universe, he is like your, you know, Superman equivalent. I suppose you could see it that way if you really wanted to. And I uh, wanted to get my thoughts on a versus matchup, a death battle, on who would win between Dr. Manhattan and Superman. Okay, so one of my favorite things about the DC Universe versus Marvel Universe or a lot of other comic book um, universes, I guess you could say, is the foundation that they set in physics and the way some of their really like uber powerful characters like Superman and Dr. Manhattan, for example, uh, really mix in the physics in with the DC Universe. Uh, and we get to see some of these, these really crazy characters now. Uh, Dr. Manhattan is a really, really cool character. Uh, of Watchmen, he's the most powerful character in their self-contained sub-DC universe, which is not your regular DC universe where you have Batman, Superman, and the rest. Of course, Watchmen takes place in, in its own self-contained one. Of course, Alan Moore's kind of universe, I guess you could say, uh, for the story. And... Um, it, it essentially takes a lot of characters from, you know, um, Golden Age or Char Charlton Days of comic books and kind of reinvents them and puts them into a story together, the ones that he liked. So he took, uh, for example, um, you have Rorschach, who was qu the question, basically is based off him, but there's some differences. Uh, and he, all the characters have a basis off of another character or, or equivalent in the regular DC Universe from the Charlton Days. Um, and Dr. Manhattan was based off Captain Adam, although his powers, his abilities, him as a character, he's not the same as, as, as Captain Adam, uh, in which case, we'll, in certain comics, you can see Captain Adam versus Superman, and the two of them fight it out. But I view Dr. Manhattan as on an entirely different level than your Captain Adam, to the point, like, to the point where he is able to do these, these feats that, you know, are amazing. He's able to molecular, molecularly, molecularly, <laughs> on a molecular or a quantum level, he is able to deconstruct and reorganize um, matter. So the very smallest quantum bits, uh, particles, he is able, on the molecular level, he is able to reconstruct and deconstruct whatever he sees fit. And he can actually exist without the need for a physical body. Meaning he does not need, for example, in Watchmen, uh, Adrian uh, Veidt um, is able to uh, fry him, essentially, and destroy his body, okay? And he is able to um, recreate himself, essentially, or come back together afterwards, so, so reassemble. Um, uh, so, so obviously, if you know, you're going to have a character like Superman who's going to be fighting this, this uber... Um, cosmic, high level, not just cosmic, but like high level cosmic character that is so far beyond human existence that he has trouble even relating to the human condition after his uh, transformation. This is an interesting one. This is this is an interesting one. Um, so obviously Superman, we know all Superman's powers, so you know I'm not going to get into that. And this isn't a special version of Superman, like Superman Prime or any of these types of things who is regarded as like the second most powerful character in all of DC, you know, these types of things. I'm just talking about your basic Superman, your regular, everyday, you know, Superman, the one that fought Doomsday, you know, that regular Superman, your 80s, 90s Superman, um, post-crisis, pre-crisis, well, I would say, I guess, pre-crisis, because that's that's the way I think of like your, your, your standard, normal, everyday Superman. So if, if Dr. Manhattan was to fight that Superman, how would it go? So again, we know Superman's powers, we all do, let's not go over it, there's no reason. Uh, Dr. Manhattan, in addition to being able to uh, reconstruct himself, 
and uh, disintegrate matter, reorganize particles, reorganize uh, quantum bits, uh, which basically is the very foundation and building block for all of matter and the universe and everything. Uh, exist outside of a body. He can also uh, teleport. He can create, um, you know, multiple versions of himself. Essentially, he can, uh, like I said, deconstruct matter. Uh, let's see. He also has uh, cryo uh, um, kinesis or cryokinesis. Um, he's able to essentially. He's able to perceive time in a different way than we do, where he can actually um, see the future and has precognition to the point where he is able to, before events happen or before events occur, he is able to see them beforehand and, and you know, <laughs> react in a certain way before they even occur or undo them, these types of things. So, so he can actually uh, essentially change the, the time stream or change his place in the time stream because he's able to see what happens next. He, he exists sort of like at that, that really high cosmic level that he's able to, to do that and so he'll know what's going to happen before it even happens to the point where he could even um, you know react before it occurs or, or change things before they even happen. He also has basically immortality uh, essentially like, like, like we said he can, re, he can exist without his body he doesn't need his body and he can reform himself with pretty much I believe any uh, particles or anything of the sort and, and come back to life again even if Superman was to beat him down to the point where he was able to kill him, let's say fry him with his uh, um, you know, laser vision or whatever, he would be, he, he vision, he would be able to um, you know, recreate himself again. Uh, he's got flight, he's got superhuman strength, he's got telekinesis, he's got in, in tangli, intangibility, uh, I, said, I said teleportation before, size alteration, uh, his, his intelligence is far beyond um, any human beings, uh, far beyond uh, Superman or you know a any of the other you know really intelligent characters you would have in the DCU or in the Watchmen U, and um, yeah, so so how would this one go down? Well, against your regular Superman, you know, when you do it when you do a versus matchup with with Superman, people instinctively choose Superman. You know, it, they always do it. You know, it doesn't matter pretty much who you put him against. You could put Superman against uh, I don't know. Um, Doomsday or something, or you could put him against almost anybody, and people instinctively will just say that Superman wins. Yep, Superman wins. Against someone like Dr. Manhattan, a really high-level cosmic being of, of, of that extent, Superman would really not stand a ghost of a chance against him. He would be able to know exactly what Superman is going to do before he does it. Even if Superman is able to destroy his body, he can, he can reform he would be able to disintegrate Superman because Superman, again, even though he's Kryptonian and his cells absorb uh, the sun for power and, and these kinds of things, in certain cases, like All-Star Superman, he will become like uber powerful because of the amount of his, uh, his, his cells absorbed. But he's still made out of particles. He's still made of the same thing. Everything else is the same stuff. Everything else is in, in the universe, uh, just different higher level forms of it. But at the very base level, Dr. Manhattan being able to control actual quantum bits and particles, he would just, in the blink of an eye, he would, he would be disintegrated. And just like instantly, boom, done, it's over, that's it. So this matchup for me is a, is a landslide for Dr. Manhattan. I don't think there's a lot of characters that could mess with Dr. Manhattan. You could do like, um, you know, Superman Prime maybe, and you know, do him against Dr. Manhattan, and then you could maybe make a case for it, and even that would still be a good matchup. But in terms of your regular average everyday Superman, or even like, you know, post-crisis, pre-crisis, whatever, I would have to say that, you know, he's made, he's gonna be made out of your matter. And, you know, Dr. Manhattan has control over all of that. He's just, he's uber powerful to the next level. So even though people default always to whoever Superman versus Superman wins, there's a lot of characters in comic books and in the DCU even that trump him easily. Dr. Manhattan is easily one of those characters that trumps him. One of those uber powerful characters. Love Dr. Manhattan as a character. Think he's amazing. And most interesting thing about him is he's so powerful to the extent that, that he... <laughs> Like Superman is, is so powerful too, but, but he, Superman always tries to relate to people and tries to help and save them and this kind of stuff. Dr. Manhattan is so intelligent and so far beyond the human condition, 
he doesn't even see you know a point most of the time in doing these types of things anymore. Like, like it seems like he's he becomes like a like a nihilist almost, where you know he he realizes that none of these things really matter. So I guess the only way that Superman could win is if Doctor Manhattan refuses to fight or just you know doesn't care enough to to compete. But if he did, if there's enough of the human left in him to do it, he would smoke Superman in the blink of an eye. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. That's this versus matchup. Uh, I gotta do some others. Please send me some versus matchup suggestions if you want to. I want to do Doomsday versus the Hulk because I think that's a good one. And uh, there's lots of others, but send me any ideas you guys have. I'll call it here. That's it for this video, guys. I'll see you for the next one. This is Trent, and I'm saying peace.